Hey everyone, welcome to another bonus episode of the New Marketing Show. Catch us on YouTube, Instagram, TV, all that great stuff. So happy that you're here with us. Today I want to talk about, you know, one of our favorite topics, collaboration, <clears throat> working as a team, and kind of our mindset here at Trinity, how we continue to work as a team and get things done. So I think one of the main rules is, <clears throat> is you have to always respect your teammates. You have to respect everybody on the team. Everybody has an equal voice and everybody is bringing a certain expertise to the table. So what does that mean? It means that whenever possible, be as, be as helpful as you can to other people, but also respect what they do and what lane they're running in. You know, I find a lot of times, <clears throat> some teams, you know, everybody just crosses lanes and everybody's all over the place. But what happens is at that point, nothing gets done. So if multiple people are responding to an issue or a ticket or uh, a dev item or something like that, really nothing's getting done because you guys are all doing the same thing and it's really cre creating more confusion than it is good. So if you have designated roles and designated lanes for you to run in as a team, what happens at that point is <clears throat> you understand inherently who's responsible for what. Now nothing, now once somebody acknowledges that something comes in or something needs to be done, you know, or a task needs to be checked off, you know, that person who is taking care of it should always circle back with the rest of the, and I said circle back, I hate that word, that term, but ever, they should always go back to the rest of the team and close the communication gap. I find that a lot of times, you know, teams may be the most expert in the world, the best at what they do, but if they don't communicate well, they're really not that effective because there's so much overlap that creates confusion or duplicate work and all of a sudden you're all over the place. <clears throat> the other thing is you have to be respectful for what the other teammates have going on in their world. So sometimes what happens is you have so many different projects that you're juggling and you're multitasking so many different items that what, what's going on is, Clea lost her ball somewhere over here. Get it Clea. <clears throat> that what happens is you have to make sure that you understand what's going on and be respectful of their time and their situations and everything else, or it's gonna create dissension among the ranks and among the team. Also on a real team, on a true team, you know, there's typically always, there's always a leader, <clears throat> but that leader is no more important than anybody else. He's just in the lead. And when you find somebody who's taking lead and taking control, he's typically the one or he, she, whoever, they are the one who can typically check the box and say, yes, that's done. Do maybe a little QA and then go ahead and move on to the next task. So, you know, working in teams is the best way I found to get things done, do great work for your clients. Uh, better your personal and professional abilities and, and expertise, but also it's a great way and a great source of frustration if you don't have the communication piece in place. So communicate, 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 respect everybody, close the gap, and from there, get some good stuff done. Hey, thanks for watching, thanks for checking us out. You can get more videos like this on YouTube, bonus episodes of The New Marketing Show on our website, trinitywebmedia.com. You can get us on social at Trinity Web Media. And uh, you can get me on social at GR Taylor too. Talk to you soon.